Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's Hugh Rayner from Berthon. We're here on an absolute stunner uh, of a, uh, a late uh, October morning here in Lymington. Uh, this morning, we're going to be looking at Impulsive. She's brand new to the market. She's an absolutely beautifully built 2013 Cockwells 33 Custom. She is uh, a one-off. She is beautifully built of Douglas strip fur planking with a sheathed uh, epoxy scrim outside. So really practical boat. Let's go take a look on board. Good morning everybody. As you can see it's been hosing it down as is the want of the UK's lovely weather at the moment. But today we're here on board Impulsive. She is a 2013 built Cockwells 33. She is custom, a one-off motor launch, designed by Andrew Wollstonehome and finished by Cockwell's modern and classic boat building down in Mylor. She's deck house, as you can see, she's full timber construction with epoxy sheath. So the hull is Douglas fir, stripped and then planked. She's full teak decks. Beautifully, beautifully, beautifully finished. We're just going to take a walk on board now, take you through her working functions. So, bow locker with chain, really easy access to everything. It's a very, very clever system here. With deck wash, remote controls for the windlass, also from the helm, and a quick vertical windlass with a 20 pound Bruce anchor, which just pops out on this cantilever here. It's a simple pin system. Very, very simple. Locks nicely, just using that pin there. She's got a full frame that runs right the way through to support you as you're moving around the foredeck. So the push pit here. This is light going into the forward heads compartment, which is central on the cockwells. And we have side cleats, which are pop-up. Also cleats right the way around the boat. Three screens here, all fixed. As you can see, the trimmed in beautiful stainless steel, which is polished. Two opening hatches either side, one above the navigator and one above the helm. Beautifully polished Jabsco searchlight also. There's a boat hook in a keep. She's equipped with full Garmin instrumentation, including HD radar and a 751 GPS map got these full side decks running right the way aft. So she was originally sheathed in epoxy on her hull which is painted to flag blue and then the top sides and superstructure were finished in map yachting impreg and then recently she's been topped up by Burthen here every two years. We've coated it with Duropox and Allcraft 200 clear coat. So these are the little divots which you can hang your fenders off, so much easier than tying on every single time. And as you can see, it's a completely flush forward deck. So she's built very much in the design of a classic keel cutter. Nice little sweep down on her shear line, leads us into the cockpit. But just before we do that, we'll just hop off and just show you how easy coming on and getting off this boat is. So that's the side decks. They are about eight inches above the level of our pontoons here, so really easy to move around. Again, this is her stem, so it's a nice sheer running aft. It's a very fine stem, nice and upright, with a white painted waterline, and we've got an inlaid teak anti-spray rail with a good tow rail running right the way around the boat, so it's very sure-footed on board. Lights here are both fixed. We have one into the forwards heads compartment and one into the transverse galley which runs across the boat just inside the hull here. Then this is the break in the shear line so it goes from completely horizontal to a little gentle run aft. So she's very, very traditional but absolutely super modern in terms of the installation inside. Small overhang just keeps that look and also keeps rain uh, and muck off the screens. Tank breathers here, the tanks are set either side of the engine which is running centrally down this vessel. She's carrying around about 492 litres of fuel 
We also have inlays for water, etc. So it's beautifully, beautifully finished in this Jura box. Good sized cockpit running aft. Plenty of high grade polished protection for this timber on board, and this is your aft berthing setup. So, good sized bathing platform. She's fitted with an Everspacker heater, which just exhausts on the starboard side. And that's her aft end. So, again, you've got these corner strips finished in polished stainless, really beefy cleats and fair leads here. And what's really neat about this boat, oh, here's another slightly more classic one. Um, what's really neat about this boat is it was conceived by her owner in association with Cockwells to be completely single handleable. So a little cassette ladder there, opening gate at the aft end. These are the lugs that retain the aft cover. The cover is built to an incredibly high level. As with all of these uh, Cockwells, the finish is absolutely first rate. So we've got this beautiful teak transom varnished beautifully and this aft cockpit gives you plenty of seating options. So we've got the main seat here, it's a J shape with an opening table right in the middle and then we've got these side seats forward with drawers underneath. This one has an opening locker underneath. There's masses and masses of storage, so underneath in this lazarette also and on your decks. So it's finished in woven trim. It's all of this storage inside. Everything has drains in it. It's beautifully, beautifully finished with a little stairway either side, hiding those fusion speakers and also courtesy lighting throughout. So we've got storage underneath in a drawer and then deck boxes forward here with really good storage volume throughout and just finish in this beautiful, beautiful gloss finish. So central table is by leaf, so it folds in half like this. It is in absolutely perfect condition and then has a small extra leaf which fits in here to give you a lot more surface area as required and folds to make access easier around the cockpit. So we have a full canopy system in sand canvas with side screens that run right the way around it which just zip out so very easy. Light underneath the overhang here so we've got a couple of LED lights up here and then we've got this beautiful access. So teak cockpit leading into this varnished teak interior and it is marquetry of the absolutely first order. It's a complete work of art. So we've got reading lights, Bose sound system which integrates with the fusion system, clock and barometer. All of the interior painted surfaces are finished in Sailac which is a lacquer, 25% gloss. And then we have this beautiful, beautiful set of sofas here which are trimmed in tan leather. That's your power supplies at the aft end and this fusion system. Main central table again, twin hinged, opens up like thus, beautiful marquetry, beautiful flame throughout. So Cockwells make a real effort in selecting the correct timber for each use. And you've got these turned columns to support the roof and also give you really good handles throughout. This large locker underneath the floor here and the engine runs aft behind that. So there's plenty of space underneath for baggage and also for covers etc when needed. So forward to starboard we have this beautiful leather helm seat and diamond stitch leather with, which is bolstered and has a twin over on the port side here for the navigator. Navigator also has a helm bench here with a table, decent sized chart drawer, uh, then we've got Eberspacker controls with a send and lay timer and this is the up down hatch so the engine hatch is actually on a powered ram to make access even easier. Then the main helm we have joystick control, normal steering which is a hydraulic system. She's equipped with a very 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 smart set of technautic controls so we have a myriad of options in terms of the way that this boat can be helmed. So she can be helmed via remote control or from the main helm. 
Jabsco searchlight just from there. She's fitted with Bennett trim tabs, that's your wipers, RPM and fuel digitally, then a Garmin giving you digital readouts, temp, Garmin 751 plotter, fuel, analog, oil, and then more Technautic kit here. So this is the main helm control system. As you can see, there is also a dead man switch there. Your engine isolators are underneath here. It allows you to take manual control here. And this is your main servo controller. And this is your heading sensor. So it has facilities for anchor mode, hover mode. So it makes it incredibly easy to run this boat single-handed. And with the umbilical cord attached to the remote control, you can helm from the aft cockpit or actually up from the foredeck for anchoring. So that's your isolators just in here and your main engine control panel for impulsive. So that's your main helm. It's really, really comfy. Everything lies to hand very sensibly and easily and you're down a couple of beautiful varnish steps and you're into this transverse galley. So over to port, we have main switching, main galley area with two zone hob, which is a Wallace. This is your Panasonic inverted microwave with a grill. That's the controls for the hob down here. Then over in behind this glass panel, nicely protected, you've got master vault. Then DC switching, AC switching, your main battery monitoring system and all systems on board. Another locker in here with an espresso machine, just keeps it neatly out of the way. And we've got bespoke racks for all of your mugs. And then just above and there is actually really nice uh, concealed lighted underneath this uh, rack system, but that's all your crockery up there. A couple of doors, just beautifully, beautifully finished. And then we're looking at the inside of this Douglas fir strip here, so in satin varnish. This is Cornish chestnut with black walnut marquetry inlays. So you can really see the way that the boat is built. Again, sail at finished lacquer interior painting. We've got more storage up high there. We have over to the starboard side, the sink with a hot and cold tap. There's also a drainage rack behind. A fixed port light, so plenty of light coming in. We've got a cutlery drawer, and then we have another couple of soft closed doors here. And then there's a hanging locker with interior light, fire blanket, bin, just forward of the main helm. So the head's door, it opens outboard, so coming towards us here, and splits the galley in half. There we go, and we're into, again, this beautiful tunnel and groove line timber sailac painted out cabin walls. We have a grey water tank on board that evacuates the shower drain. There's a pull-out shower on the port side. It's a really, really beautifully trimmed space. Anthracite Corian worktop throughout with a fiddle to just stop things moving. Storage underneath here. The controls for the main head lie centrally. This is your main engine access, so we'll just flick this up towards ourselves, make it a little bit more difficult, just to show you the amount of storage space that's underneath here. So your main raw water filter is after that bulkhead there, and then you have storage and stowage for baggage underneath here. Seacocks underneath. You have coolant expansion bottles, two fire extinguishers in here, and a Yanmar 6BY3 260 horsepower engine. So she'll top out at uh, around about 18 knots with a cruising speed at a very sensible fuel consumption of 14. As said, she carries around about 492 litres of fuel, and that is a really neat way of were the ram ever to fail, you can just pull that pin and manually open the hatch like that. Knowing Cockwell's engineering, it'd be very unlikely to, but it is amazing as you run through the spec of this boat as to how much redundancy is built in at design. So were any of the powered systems to fail due to lack of batteries or maybe a broken wire, then it can all be manually overridden. So that is how easy and how difficult your daily checks are for the engine, just flattens, perfectly like that and we can just see the chromed base for the main table. Just flip this one down 
So that's your kind of luggage boot in the car and you can see how much storage space you've got underneath everything. So just take a moment to breathe this in. This is Impulsive. She is a 2013 Cockwells 33 motor launch available through Berthon now. Many thanks for watching.